I'm Aaron Kasharski. This is my mom, and this is my brother. And together, we're a video game wizard. <laughs> Greetings, everybody. It's uh, Eric Kucharski. I'm in the store. As you can tell, the power is off. Uh, this morning at about 9.45, I show up to the store on a Monday, and I was going to go film a Monday show, but power was not on. Power would not turn on. So, uh, me being concerned about the power, uh, I flip the switch. doesn't come on, so I'm like, okay, well, they either cut me off or it's just a power outage. So, at 9.45... Like I said, I got here at 9.45. I need to emphasize the 9.45 part because that's where the story really takes off. So I pay the bill immediately on my phone. At, it's like 9.48, 9.49, at the latest 9.50 by the time I paid. And then I call in and I talk to them. And according to the lady on the phone, somebody was here at my store at 9.45 cutting my power off. Even though I had the money to pay it. And I did pay it less than five minutes later. And it, the bill was less than two weeks old. Bill was due on the 11th of August. Today's the 24th. I paid the 24th. Less than two weeks old. Paid the bill. Still cut me off. And they're still telling me that they're going to try and charge me a $40 turn back on fee. So I don't know what to think about all that. Because it was like literally three or four minutes. I told them I want to speak to a supervisor. And it's a load of crap that they're trying to charge me when I paid it. Uh, and I didn't even see the guy. I didn't see anybody here. Uh, and I was here at 9.45, so, they, so if they did come, they would have had to have came before that and shut it off, because 9.45 definitely could not have been the time, unless their clocks are set like five minutes behind mine or something like that. Maybe mine said 9.45, or maybe they're set 9.45 when mine said like 9.40 or something, I don't know. But that was weird. I just wanted to relay that story. And hopefully the power gets turned back on, and uh, yeah, I need to contact Duke Energy yet again. Uh, we just stopped by the bank. Uh, what was your name again? Tyler. Uh, Tyler, yep. Tyler. And uh, me and him went to the bank, and now we're going to go head over to Josh's store and see how much money they've made today. Woo! And this is Game Wizard 2. Oh, you got a lot of people hey, here today. Hey, how's it going? It's supposed to get rid of your high card. what's up? And they moved the couch. It used to be on that side. And now it's way back here. You got the. For how much? Wow, that's actually a good deal. Did you rip some of the cart? Why did you get... You need... To, oh, are you listing? You, you better list everything you have. Make that money. Woo! Okay, so we just stopped at... Uh, Josh. You said that? The power's still off. That sucks. Power is still off at my store, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it here. What game... Oh, what games did you... What games did you... What game Who said he's leaving? I don't... Read the message. Just tell me. You read the message. And then read off the games you got. Bunch of good ones. Uh, I can read them. Need for Speed Rivals. Here, I'll just show you guys. You got all of those. They're like five to ten bucks each. PS4, Xbox One, two hundred bucks. Good deal. And now we're gonna go drop him off because I gotta take this one back to my store. And then, and then I will see you guys uh, at my store. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're in the store, and uh, we got I got the design that I want to show you outside that we did on the window, and you can tell me what you guys think. Look at that. Underneath where it says Video Game Wizard, number, buy, sell, trade. Look at that. A bunch of cover arts, and then down here outside, you can come pick up your, uh, your little business cards, and then you can come back and shop with us. Uh, that's in case if we're ever closed or we're not here or whatever the case may be if they pick up one of those little business cards They'll know where we're at and they got my number Woo! <laughs> Joshy I hate you. I hate you Joshy I've arrived at Josh's store finally Jesse's here Josh is here my mom's here and uh, Wait a second. Why is your car broke? I thought my car was broke. What's wrong with your car? Ah. Oh. Oh, he's fixing that. I'm going to go inside. Uh, two days ago, as you guys know, power went out of my store. And, and I finally got that squared away. 
two days later just to show you guys that I'm not BSing when I say we don't have any money and we need help. Just to show you that I'm not BSing. We're not making this stuff up, guys. Uh, we were sitting, I cut, walk in the store, plug my charger in, boom, lights go out. I go outside, Duke Energy's outside shutting her power off. And I, I talked to him. I did get some helpful information. He said if we pay, if she pays $230, it gets cut back on. We're good there. Uh, but yeah, power's out. Josh is in the dark. I'm trying to eat chicken. Looks like their fridge is going to be on defrost for a little while. Uh, they need $230 in order to go back into business. I don't know what to say. Uh, this is Game Wizard. This is uh, Aaron reporting from Game Wizard 2. Uh, out. Woo! I sold both of my GPSs. He sold both of his GPSs. How much? Uh, found them in the trash can. Found them in the trash can. Wow. I don't know what's going on over here. Lights are still out. Uh, this is a blackout episode. And he sold something he found out of the trash can for free. Yeah, somebody left a comment, by the way. Uh, Monkey Poo, I think it was, left a comment saying, if people know that you're uh, leave, buying stuff, they're buying stuff in the store that you guys found in the trash can. They're not going to want to shop here if all your inventory comes out of the trash. And uh, Monkey Poo, you can shut the heck up because I'm tired. Monkey I'm tired Poo, of. It was like brand spanking new. People threw new stuff away, and it worked. I'm we tired of sitting here. Out. I, I, I'm trying to defend myself on YouTube. Monkey Poo, stop leaving negative comments. Tired of it. Tired. We interrupt this program to bring you some exciting news. The lights are now back on. At Game Wizard 2. Well, we've been talking about this for months now, and we are finally taking the steps needed to get this uh, project underway. We are going to be hosting uh, tournaments in my store. Uh, if you notice, we moved the thing out of the middle. We actually got the rack over here. We're going to put like food and beverages and snacks up there for people. And then we're going to have at least one, if not two, tables set up. And we're going to have TVs back to back. And I'm going to have chairs set up all around them. And we're going to do like Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Digimon. Anything that you could possibly dream up. And we're going to have tournaments here in my store. So I wanted to update you on that. And it's raining this morning. So hopefully we, we get some kind of customer. But with the rain, I don't expect much. Anyway, if anything happens, I will keep you guys updated. I just wanted to let you know about the tournaments. And I will see you later in the store. Woo! Exciting news to report, ladies and, and gentlemen of YouTube. I just made a $100 sale. So with that, that makes $100 for the day. I came in and bought some of the stuff that I had on eBay and some of the stuff that was in the store. It was a combined sale. Uh, he paid the prices that were on it. He didn't try to haggle me. That's always a positive uh, when I can actually get the prices I put on stuff. You know? And, uh, yeah. Oh, it looks like we might have another customer, and I will see you guys later. Because I'm going to be going to my mom's store pretty soon. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys then. Woo! Okay, show, show the bottle. Okay, people. This is antifreeze. You put it inside the overflow. Let me show you where it's at. Yeah, my car is broken, and it just screwed up on me again. Since nobody wants to believe me. This is the overflow right here. It says radiator coolant. And that's what I put in it. And Aaron, don't believe me. I, you know, I used to know a lot about, I know something about cars where the minor things that go wrong with it. And it's the water pump that he needs a new one. Yeah, if anybody's got a water pump for a 19, what is it? 1995 Ford Exploder. That's willing to part with it. Can you bring it this way? Yeah, cause look under there. See all that water? My car no, just. that was a puddle from the rain. My car just gushed out water. It was raining water. That that is it. that was not raining water. My it car. It was. My I car. I saw it. I saw it. And okay. It looked like a rain underneath there. Well, maybe, but I saw the, 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 it was, it was dripping what? and dripping and dripping. So yeah, my car look broke, broke. Need, needs fixed. Now I need a water pump. Great. What more could possibly go wrong, YouTube? Hey, everybody. Uh, so if you notice, I shaved. Um, the store episode, I forgot to do an ending clip, and I was just reminded that I'm also supposed to do a shout-out, and this shout-out goes to Will Gold, um, and he is from Video Game Junkies. So, Will Gold, this is a shout-out for you. Uh, video Game Junkies, go check him out, 
And uh, this will conclude another store episode. And I will see you guys next week in the store. Woo! Okay.